Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get the updates. We're excited for today's video. It's an unboxing video, clearly. Beer's courtesy of Ross. Thanks so much, Ross. I really appreciate it. Um, this is whatever number box he sent. Uh, I'm losing uh, count. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. I just put some lotion on my hands, so it's like slipping. I'm gonna say this box won't be reused. <laughs> well, I know what this one is. <laughs> Let's do this actually. Will they sit up like this? Oh, this one's upside down now. It's okay. <laughs> it's intact. It's intact. <laughs> Everything is fine. <laughs> of course, I opened it on the wrong side like an animal. All right. So anyway, this is a Bourbon County brand double barrel stout. Uh, a stout aged in 11-year-old Elijah Craig bourbon barrels and then aged in 12-year-old Elijah Craig bourbon barrels. <laughs> I'm just going to keep the bottle out. But it's this one uh, from 2020. Oh, man. Oh, which I have reviewed. Uh, if you're interested, go back and watch that review if, if you uh, haven't seen it already. Uh, so obviously I'm stoked to have another one. All right. Revolution Strawberry Jacket Barley Wine. A barley wine with strawberries. Come on. Um, yes, yeah, Strawberry Jacket, a slightly drier blend of bourbon and rye whiskey barrel, barreled I don't know, barrel, uh, English barley wine aged 18 months provides a base for the delicate nuances of fresh strawberry to shine while retaining the same balance we expect of our beloved straight jacket. Reminiscing, uh, reminiscent, reminiscent a fresh, juicy strawberry atop a creme brulee, this sipper can... can <laughs> the font is so tiny. Uh, the sipper can... A company dessert or stand at its own enjoy now or store cold. I don't know. Barrel aged or not. If I've ever had a barley wine with strawberries in it. Like I've had barley wines maybe with like grape juice or um, you know maybe figs or something. But I'm trying to think. I don't think I've had strawberry. Uh, people, um, if your minds aren't blown already just by these two beers, uh, and seeing that I'm holding another uh, Revolution Barrel Aged beer, I recently did their um, cuvee, and it blew my mind, and I almost added it to my top beer of the year list because the only reason I didn't was because I already have a Revolution one. But talk about beers that couldn't make that list in my, I'm, I'm going out on a limb before I've ever had it. Could be this one, Super Massive Cafe Deef. I know you think it's pronounced death, but the, at the brewery they call it Deef. Uh, like, rhymes with teeth. Um, inspired in part by the disconcertingly large gravitational singularity at the center of our galaxy, we devise Super Massive Cafe Deef to be the midpoint of a theoretical bourbon barrel aged stout coffee continuum after a painstaking 18 months of aging this slightly sweet blend of d star meets its cosmic binary in the form of freshly roasted dark matter coffee to the tune of 10 pounds per oak barrel enjoy immediately or store cold love their can art Very good packaging, by the way, Ross. VSOJ <laughs> Barley Wine. Um, I have one, two, three, four. This will be a fifth Revolution Barley Wine. I feel a theme week coming on. I don't know. I've, I've been talking about doing a Barley Wine theme week for a while, and I haven't yet, but I feel one coming on. I don't know. I feel one coming on. Uh, a celebration of malt, oak, and patience. Very special old straight uh jacket is a cuvee of english barley wines aged between two and four years in our favorite bourbon barrels uh lusciously sweet and colossally 
uh, complex VSOJ is equal parts refinement and excess. Enjoy now, or you guessed it, store cold. Uh, yeah, cobwebs on the outside of the barrel. Love it, love it. More Brewing Company, Chocolosa. Imperial chocolate oat stout with cacao nibs, uh, I'm sorry, cocoa nibs, cocoa husks, and Madagascar vanilla, maple wood. You know that sounds up my alley. <laughs> like, like, it's just, um, you know, all right, get into my head and then procure certain uh, beers for me. Uh, this is this is a pretty good representation <laughs> uh, of the styles I enjoy. Ah, okay. Let me make sure I don't do this the wrong way because <laughs> last time he sent a couple mystery beers and I opened them like an animal. And, although this box I opened like an animal too. And uh, at least one of them I ripped the mystery label <laughs> off and just thought it was a regular beer he wanted me to review. I didn't realize it was a mystery beer. So let me make sure I don't accidentally rip off the covering. And then we have two 16 ounce cans, which are obviously going to be double dry hop, double IPAs with Citra, Mosaic, and Galaxy. <laughs> nah, who knows? Ross, man, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Not only are you extremely handsome with really cool uh, glasses, you also sent me a bunch of really awesome freaking beer dude so thank you so much hope you're having a great day uh hope you guys at home are having a great day as well um make sure you comment if you've had any of these beers before if you think i should do a barley wine theme week if that sounds like uh, i would kill myself doing that uh when i should do these mystery beers i don't know anything everything comment section below let's get a conversation going once you're done doing that make sure you check me out on instagram and untapped it's no hype beer reviews at both those places so always please like comment subscribe and most importantly imbibe cheers everyone